Hi, my name's Sam, and I'm your internet sesh buddy. And this is Girl Sesh, my podcast where we smoke and chill and, you know, talk. Um, today's topic is about anxiety. I can't wait to get so into yeah, that. Let's it. go right into what I'm going to be smoking. Oh, little um, side note. I know you guys are noticing different backdrop. Um, I liked the pink one, but I just, mm, I wasn't really feeling it. So now I'm just kind of switching it up. Let me know if you guys like it or if I should add little things or whatever. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you what I'm smoking. Of course, this will be Happy. It will be their premium flower pre-roll in grape. I'm going to go ahead and obviously open this so we can start smoking and start talking. So... I'm going to undo this. Okay, let's take this little baby out. Okay, there we go. The beautiful pool. Ooh, a little dusty. Okay. There's what we will be smoking today. Beautiful. Okay, so... How'd your guys' this week go? Um, you guys watched this on Monday, so what do you guys have planned for the week? Um, my weekend. <coughs> hmm. Well, unfortunately for me, I just started my period today, which I'm so not happy with. I just hate being on my period. So, yeah, I just got on my period. Um, I don't know what my plans are for this week just yet, but I know Mother's Day is coming up. So, yeah. Hopefully my mom's not watching this because I low-key want to go surprise her because she lives kind of far. So, I want to wake up and go over there and like surprise her because obviously she's not going to expect me early in the morning so that's what I'm hoping but I hope that she doesn't like hear this like I hope she's not listening to my podcast right now because that will ruin the surprise so mom if you just so happen to hear this podcast please act like you did not just hear that do you guys like when I do smoke breaks like where I just have a video of me smoking, or do you guys like this whole sit down, smoke, talk with y'all before we go into the topics? Okay. I'm gonna continue smoking this off camera and I will see you guys back when I'm high. Welcome back. So let's just get into today's topic, which is anxiety. So I learned I had anxiety, I wanna say around middle school. Um, I believe I was like telling my dad something like, a certain way that I feel or I can't remember really what it was but I remember I was explaining to him something and he was like oh yeah that's anxiety and I was like hmm anxiety like what is what's that and um I think he kind of explained to me a little bit I'm not sure maybe I looked into it I can't really remember but long story short that's where I kind of was like hey I think I might have this. So my anxiety, uh, I would say maybe is more like social anxiety, maybe. I I get overwhelmed in large crowds, um, meeting people. I get really awkward around people. I kind of like freak out and I'm in my head about things a lot. And it it sucks because sometimes you know if i want to go out or something it's not easy for me to just get ready go and just you know show up and have fun it's like first i have to worry about what i'm wearing and then i have to worry about if i even look good and then i have to worry about who's even gonna be there and then i have to worry about where i'm gonna stand when i get there because what if all the corners are took up? where am i gonna go like where is are there places to stay or do i have to stand like i want to know all these little things and then when i get there the first place i'm doing the first thing i'm doing once i get into a place is finding my spot where i'm gonna be sitting for like the whole entire time that i'm there um and yeah it's it's and i hate it too because once i'm there uh 
if it's super loud and crowded, I I get a little overwhelmed by it and I want to leave like super badly. Um, depending on how obviously packed it is or how overwhelmed I am, especially how loud it is. I, I don't like loud noises. Um, I don't like a lot of loud things going on. It, it like freaks me out. I also have anxiety like meeting people as well. Uh, when I meet people, I feel like I'm in my head a lot. I'm always thinking what I could have said better or I'm replaying the whole entire conversation in my head. Like thinking, oh, what? Oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. Oh, that was embarrassing. Um, and it's kind of funny because, I mean, it's not that funny, but it's funny because I can't stop myself from doing it. Like when I, when I speak it out loud and when I kind of describe what it's like, it's like, well, like just not do it. You know what I mean? But I can't, um, it just happens. And so like the whole entire time I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, like they don't even want to talk to you. Like they don't even care what you're saying about anything right now and i'm just like oh my god like what if that's true and then my mind starts freaking out and then i'm just freaking out about the whole entire thing like i'm freaking about what i'm saying i'm freaking about if anyone is even overhearing us um i'm freaking out if someone's even looking at us i'm freaking out about the person i'm talking to um i also feel like i can't hold conversations very well uh i i I get told that I'm good at speaking, but I think it's more because I freak out and I'm trying to make sure that everything I say sounds kind of okay or perfect because like, I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to mess up anything. So that's like where my anxiety kind of like plays into um, speaking as well. I, I feel like whenever I talk to people, I'm always like, damn, I can't have a conversation. Like it's so hard for me to just, go back and forth like bounce off the other person's words it's also kind of hard too because sometimes uh people will recognize me from youtube or instagram or whatever and they'll be like oh like can i take a picture or blah 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 blah." you know they'll, they'll talk to me and inside i'm like oh my god that's so cute you know like i i'm happy inside like oh you know they want to take a picture with me that's so sweet but like on the outside i'm not reacting that way because i'm like kind of like freaking out because like i kind of don't know how to act so i'm just like uh because i'm awkward you know and so i'm just like okay and like sometimes i'll kind of just like take a picture and then i'll kind of like smile laugh and you know kind of keep it short and I feel so bad sometimes because I'm like, damn, I wonder if they think like I'm rude or like if maybe they think I'm just awkward because I am. But I'm like, damn, I wonder if they think that too. Well, I literally hate ordering my own food. Like I hate ordering my own food. Uh, I just get anxiety from it. I don't know why. When I do order, I feel like, damn, you know, it was pretty easy. And I feel like that happens to a lot of things that I get anxiety about is that everything is easy i'm kind of just all in my head and that's what's kind of freaking me out and that's what kind of helped me deal with my anxiety better now is i kind of have to remind myself like it's all in my head it's not actually kind of real i wish i could tell you more on how to control it or how to manage it or whatever but i'm still even learning myself like i i don't always know like how to shake it off um i don't want to say that i smoke completely because of my anxiety um but it does help feel like when i do smoke it's a lot easier to calm my nerves um especially when it comes to talking or meeting people or doing things or being around a lot of things because when i i do get anxiety around those type of things my heart kind of like starts racing And I can't really focus too well. I fumble on my words. Um, My body's like super tense. Basically, I'm just, you know, I'm freaking out. And when I smoke, it kind of like relaxes my body. Um, 
I, I'm still freaking out. I'm not gonna lie. It it doesn't just completely make it go away. Um, I will still have anxiety even when I'm high, but it's more manageable because I'm calmer and I could kind of just like, be like, okay, Sam, you know, like you're freaking out. It's okay. You're having anxiety. It's because of this, but you'll be okay. Like I, I try to remind myself and it's easier. Like I said, when I'm high, uh, if I wasn't high, it's a definitely a lot harder. I can't just like tell myself to calm down i kind of just like freak out a little i would explain more but i feel like i explained like how my anxiety kind of affects me and how i try to deal with it by my thought process and smoking of course but i have yet to find a perfect solution or reasoning behind it so maybe once i figured that out i could do a whole video on something like oh this is what helped me and this is what i learned and blah blah blah, blah. because i want to know more too and i just realized i never looked more into it and i'm not sure why i kind of just stopped at okay i have anxiety that's it and i didn't research more and i feel like i should because duh it's affecting me every day why wouldn't i want to know more about something that's i'm going through you know what i mean um but anyways yeah so this is the end of the podcast um i know this is kind of a short one but i realized i don't there's not much more to explain um behind my my reasoning of my anxiety and how it affects me um but I still hope, nonetheless, that you guys liked yeah. it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day because I know this gets posted very early in the morning. Um, I think I might just bring someone on to my next episode because I feel like it needs a little twist in it. So... Maybe you guys could suggest someone. Or Thank you for watching Girl Sesh. I'm your internet sesh buddy, Sam. Yes. Thanks again for watching. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye.